Kamala Harris has been served. It's time for her campaign to call it quits because there's no coming back now. Not after what happened in the key swing state of Pennsylvania yesterday, when President Trump visited a local McDonald's in Bucks County to work as a fry cook and serve up food to customers via the drive through window. Talk about an iconic moment in American politics. No, an iconic moment in world politics. He's the first and only president to ever work at the Golden Arches. And he's also the only candidate in this race who's ever worked there as of now, which is what he wanted to highlight given Kamala's unproven claim of having worked there in college. Her campaign has specifically claimed that she worked the deep fryer, the ice cream machine, and the cash register at a McDonald's in Alameda, California back in 1983, between her freshman and sophomore years of college at Howard University. Kamala also touted this supposed work experience in an interview last month with MSNBC's Stephanie Rule. Your opponent almost every day seems to be talking about this, so I just want to ask you yes or no. Okay. At any point in your life, have you served two all-beef patties, special sauce, <laughs> lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, <laughs> on, on a sesame, sesame seed, seed bun, bun. <laughs> working at a McDonald's? Yes or no? That's it. I have. Okay. Now the other job. Now and, the other job. But it was okay. not a small job. Like, I did okay. the fries. I mean, I, you know, yes, okay, for but a small I did. period of time. But then let me ask about a big job. But, but, but to your point, if you don't mind, before Please. you get to the big job, it's a, there's a, part of the reason I even talk about having worked at McDonald's is because there are people who work at McDonald's in our country who are trying to raise a family. I worked there as a student. I was a kid who work there trying to raise families and pay rent on that. And I think part of the difference between me and my opponent includes our perspective on the needs of the American people and what our responsibility then is to meet those needs. Now that's some very, very bold language considering that we haven't seen a single piece of evidence to actually support her claims, none whatsoever. Her campaign hasn't shown us any paperwork to verify it, and we also haven't seen any documentation such as an old pay stub to back it up either. Even the testimony of a former coworker or manager would suffice. However, we haven't heard a peep from anyone, which undermines the whole narrative about have ever having worked there in the first place. Now, she still has some time to present proof if such a thing exists, but the window to do so is closing fast. And in any case, President Trump's 30-minute shift yesterday was a smashing success right from the start, where thousands of people showed up for a chance to meet him and see him in action, as he donned the classic McDonald's apron over his red tie. And he looked like a natural. Are you going to give it a try? I do. You think it's definitely over for you? I'm going to grab the mask and two hands. And then you can go right into here on the left. Yep, slowly, uh, right here, right here. Slowly, gently lowered into the oil. Don't want to burn yourself. Uh, no. There you go. And then we're going to hit our fry timer right here. That one's going good. Now we can drop another one too. So we'll grab one more mask and two hands. Yep. We're going to put it right here. Okay. We'll lower it slowly into the oil. Don't want to burn. Then we're just going to hit our fry timer right here. Yeah, right there. Now we're waiting for that duty timer. So now when that duty timer comes up, again, hit the timer, okay. take it out of the oil slowly, give it a little shake so that we don't get stuck together, yep. and then lower it back into the oil. Okay. So we'll probably, this one will probably go off before anybody else. Yep, there we go. Yep, you're good, you got it. So now lift it out of the oil. Two hands. Can you start putting your slide on that? Shake, and then slowly back into the oil. That's good. good job. We got another one going off, so do the time right here with that button. Good. And then out the oil. Shake. Back into the oil. Very nice. And then our last one is going to go off. We'll give that a few seconds. I'm going to need a few more fries. That's good. You got to make some more. Got about 10,000 people out there. <laughs> That's a big crowd, huh? Excellent form on those fries. Truly well done. Not the fries, but the job itself. 
Uh, I just love that. However, in all seriousness here, this trip actually shows us all how he's genuinely able to connect with the American people, with the American voters. He showed a real knack for building relationships with the customers and even with the employees who showed him the ropes. And he even seemed to enjoy the work. This is fun. I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. <laughs> I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Actually. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. You made it possible for ordinary people like us to be. Oh, you're not ordinary. I mean, thank you so you much. You are not ordinary. I can see. We pray for you. Oh, and you. And you are the type of person we want to be the president. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. So nice. Thank, thank you very you much. much. Yeah, I took a bullet. That's right. Thank you, Mr. President. When you think about it, I guess that's right. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. Beautiful wife. Picture? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you Have very a good much. day. God bless you. Great honor. Well, isn't that interesting? I mean, progressives claim that President Trump only cares about himself. But if that was really true, then why would he take precious time out of his extremely busy campaign schedule to serve paying customers at a fast food restaurant? That's not the mark of selfishness. That is the mark of selflessness. Now, Trump could spend every single day of the rest of his life golfing with his friends or traveling around the world, but instead of enjoying the wealth that he's created, he's rolling up his sleeves to save this country.